lot of acres in Minnesota and the Dakotas that never got planted this year because of a cool, wet spring. The window to get forage species seeded is closing quickly. In a lot of cases, prevent plant insurance may dictate what options are available, so be sure to check with your agents. Not all forage species are the same, so selecting the forage that fits the situation is key. This graph shows the relative cold tolerance of forage species to cold weather. Brassica species can tolerate a lot of cold and will stay green well into January. The cereal grain species and annual ryegrass are moderately cold tolerant and will maintain quality late in the year. The summer annual species, however, do not tolerate cold at all. Additionally, parasic acid is going to be a problem with sorghum species right after frost. Keep this in mind as you select forage species and what you are going to do with them. Common brassica species like turnips, radishes, rape, kale, and winfred will work well for grazing situations. They don't always work very well for hay. Brassicas also make excellent mixes with cereal grains like oats and barley. Brassicas are generally very small seeds, so three to four pounds per acre is a lot of seed. It can be difficult to get even flow through a drill at such small seeding rates, so mixing brassica seed with a half to a bushel of oats or barley can act as a filler and make seeding much more even. Try to keep seeding depth about one inch. In my experience, it is generally good to put down about 40 pounds of nitrogen with a brassica seeding. They respond really well to the nitrogen. You can plant brassicas any time until August 15th in northern Minnesota and September 1st in southern Minnesota and still expect pretty good yields. You can probably expect one to three tons of dry matter per acre. Cereal grains like oats, barley, rye, and triticale can make excellent fall forage. They have pretty good cold tolerance and ton up very nicely. But remember to use a spring cereal if you want fall only forage. If you're looking for some forage this fall and again next spring, a winter cereal would be a good option. Burn down after cutting or chopping next spring and then planting either late corn or soybeans may be an option for some. Cereals are generally pretty good end scavengers, so drilling with 50 pounds of nitrogen is usually a good idea. Annual ryegrass also can make some good forage in the fall and again next spring. Seeding rate will be 30 to 50 pounds per acre, and it's a good idea to put down 30 to 50 pounds of nitrogen as well. Annual ryegrass is actually a winter annual, so it will overwinter and will need to be burned down next spring after chopping or harvesting and before going in with the next crop. Summer annuals like forage sorghum, sedan grass, sorghum sedan hybrids, and millets are good forage producers, but it is probably too late to seed for northern Minnesota, and hay is probably the best option for southern Minnesota. Again, these summer annuals have very little cold tolerance, so they will burn down right after frost. Prussic acid concentrations in sorghums will spike following frost burn down, so wait a week or so before harvesting. If forage sorghum or sedan grass is selected as your forage option, drill on 14 to 15 inch spacings at about 12 to 15 pounds per acre. If you do have sorghum plates for your planter, you can seed 10 to 12 pounds on 20 to 30 inch rows. Add about 50 pounds of nitrogen and keep seeding depth to less than one inch. If millet is your choice, Japanese millet may be your best option. Drill 15 to 18 pounds per acre on 14 to 15 inch spacings, or drill 8 to 10 pounds on 20 to 30 inch rows. 50 pounds of nitrogen will also be beneficial to millet yields. Keep seeding depth to less than one inch. Some operators may simply desire a cover crop for weed suppression. Brassicas work well for this purpose as they are relatively cheap to establish and leave very little residue to contend with next spring. Although brassica species are annuals, invariably some individual plants will manage to overwinter and will need to be burned down next spring before seeding the next crop. I hope you've enjoyed this University of Minnesota Beef Team webinar. If you would like more information about forage species and management for late planted acres, just contact Eric Mosel at the North Central Research and Outreach Center in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Thanks for listening.